Obviously, you know, a huge day, you know, we went from like now, like with the press box now, and then like like all these facilities here, but I kind of want to focus on one thing, you know, which is the press box, you know, and uh, President Caboni kind of touched on earlier talking about, you know, uh, fan experience. So what's with the new uh, renderings of the new press box going to do, not only for uh, for WK, but also uh, for the stadium in general? Well, I mean, if you think about it, so where we are now, this side of the stadium was built in 2008. and. Uh, that was a, a major transition year for us and for the program. And the football program had some real growing pains. I mean, from 2008 to 2010, we went 2 and 10, 0 and 12, 2 and 10, 4 and 32 record. But then you fast forward to where we are now, I mean, it's a program that's won a bowl game uh, each of the last three years. And that growth has not been matched by our facilities, and uh, in particular, the press box. And for those that have been in the press box, know, I mean, this stadium was built in 1968. And it's a 1968 press box. I mean, the fact that you have to go up through the stands, the fact that there's not heating and air conditioning, uh, it's just not where it needs to be, and it's certainly not where this program is. So now what we'll have is we'll have broadcast facilities that will be up to date. I mean, it'll be beyond up to date. I mean, it'll be first class in every respect. And so uh, that will match the growth of our program. And, you know, for the print media, for the broadcast media, but then for the you know the coaching staffs as well. I mean, they're going up through the stands right now. I mean, that's that's not really what our program is all about. So, uh, it'll be first class in every respect to match the growth of the program in other areas. In the world of NIL and the transfer portal, how key is it to have top tier facilities to compete with that? Well, it's huge for a number of reasons. I mean, if you think about it, obviously it's it's vital in recruiting. I mean, athletes want to know where they're going to be training, where they're going to be spending a lot of their time. So it will help us in recruiting. Uh, and then once athletes are here, it will help them develop. You know, they'll be able to train in a, at a different level than they have been so far. And then I think with respect to conference realignment, if you think about that and, and how facilities plays a role in that, it's always much better to show something that you have versus talk about something that you might have. So once we get these complete, you know, coupled with everything else that we have done, most recently at the soccer softball facility, our overall facilities will be in the best position they've ever been in in the history of our university. And, and piggybacking off that, why is now the best time to have these top tier facilities put together? Well, I, I just think it's an arms race out there. We, we actually had had discussions about this back in 2019 and we're very close to moving forward then. And then obviously COVID hit and uh, that put everything on hold for a couple of years. Uh, unfortunately, beyond that, in 2019, our economy was in a much better position than it is right now. And so the only negative of doing it now is things cost a whole lot more than they did back in 2019. But, you know, we'll overcome that. We'll, we'll get these things completed. And by, again, like I said, by 2025, we'll be in the best position we've ever been in from a facility standpoint. Did the conference realignment kind of bolster getting this done immediately in any way, shape, or form? Well, it actually, it helped with the soccer softball facilities because what we did was we took the exit fees from the departing members, the portion that we received, and we put that towards that facility, which was huge. Because since 2014, we've actually done 14 million in either renovations or uh, new facilities within athletics. But the two biggest pieces that are left are the press box in this facility. So, you know, it's exciting today to, to actually officially move forward on this. What does it mean for just the baseball program as well? We talk a lot about football, but you know, baseball getting this new facility with a new head coach and pretty much a new era for that. That, that'll be great. I'm glad you asked about that. I mean, baseball will go from a good situation to a great situation. You know, there'll be a transition. Well, obviously, they'll, they'll be displaced while the building's going on. But when this is finished, you know, their, their locker room, their training area, their team meeting room will all be brand new. The coaches' offices will be brand new. The hitting facilities will be rebuilt back within this. I mean, they'll, they have a, their own place that they can call home now, but this will be a brand new home. And it'll be state-of-the-art, and it will be outstanding in every aspect. You guys have a specific plan for baseball yet as what they are going to do in the meantime? Well, the good news about the soccer softball facility being completed is the softball team, their locker room was in Diddle Arena. And so they'll move from Diddle Arena. They're actually in the process of doing that right now, and they will go to the new facility. And then baseball can move into the locker room that, ironically, baseball used when uh, Chris Finwood was our head coach here. You know, baseball, a lot of people don't remember actually the locker room. In fact, the team that went to the regional and, and beat Ole Miss and beat Missouri twice, their locker room was actually in Diddle Arena. So, uh, you know, the program's come a long way from a facility standpoint since then. So it'll be a little bit of a, a back to the future, you know, for, for a period of time when baseball goes back into Diddle Arena. But they'll be in the locker room that 
they once were at, not these players, but the program was at before and where softball has been. And it, it's a good setup. I mean, it's, it's fine in terms of space and everything. Obviously, it's just not at the field, which is what it needs to be and what it will ultimately be. Anything else for Todd? All right. Thank you. Thank you.